Roti Prata has become a favourite among Singaporeans, regardless of race, since it was first brought here by Indian immigrants. But what is it about Prata that earned it a place among our favourites? To find out, we spoke to food guru Violet Oon at the famous Casuarina Prata shop along Upper Thompson. So tell us, why do you think Prata is so popular among Singaporeans? Uh, first of all, I think it's a lifestyle. I mean, for me, uh, I, I love the Prata places and you know, they're Indian uh, Muslim and normally it's 24 hours, it's, you know, if, if it's in the like, little coffee shop all around town, brightly lit and I think it's our version of the TV show Friends, you know, where, where, where you meet, um, it's, it's like a local Starbucks, where, where you meet to shoot the breeze and um, I like to just sit here and then look at the, you know, thing of nothing, la, which is lovely in, in a busy place. And um, partly it's, 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 yum, it's, it's, I would call it like um, Asian puff pastry. You know, people love this sort of puffy, uh, crispy pastry. It's delicious to eat. And looking at the prata itself, how can you tell, like, you know, whether it's a, is it a good prata or not? I think this one is quite good because it's got the fluff, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I'm, you know, it's, it's got the layering. Right. Let me just try a bit. Uh, it hasn't got raw bits. Some of, some of the doughs are, are too um, solid. Right. And so they, they don't they don't throw so well and then they have raw bits so this is quite this is quite nice. This is quite crispy actually, yeah. Quite crispy. Quite crispy but, uh... I think Casuarina does deserve its good reputation. But aside from Casuarina, where can you go to find a good piece of prata here? Sometimes I think the non-famous ones are very good, you know, in, in, a, in a humble hawker centre where the, the man is just making prata every day and they you know haven't become famous and you know they just make a better version. Let's talk about how prata has changed through the years. How, how have you noticed from back then when it first started to the humble prata? How yes, is it? It's just prata with the curry or you can order uh, the, you know, like the nice fish curries, chicken curry, the mutton and mutabak. And then, then it became paper, it became a cone prata, then this plaster and, you know, filled with sausage and the sweet one. So it's, it's really evolved. I mean, this menu has about 20 to 30 items, which, which people may love because it's like, it's like a bread dough and you make many, many, many versions. So I, I think that's part of the appeal of Prata nowadays. Like the spaghetti, Prata has evolved through the years to cater to the consumer's palates with ever-increasing variations from cheese, mushroom, to banana and chocolate. All kind of flavours. You have ice cream, you have banana, you have cheese, you have cheese and combinations. You now even have tuna platas, right? Uh, so more, more uh, tricks. But I think still the traditional the kosong, the egg, and maybe the onion, these are still the all-time favourites. Whether with egg or ice cream, crispy or fluffy, prata will remain a favourite among Singaporeans. Even with the increasing prices, many will still keep going to their favourite coffee shops for their prata fix.